My dear students, welcome to unit one of our English uh, course that extends from 25th of February till the 25th of February. First of all, we're going to kick out this unit with an introduction about the unit where you're going to recognize the key concept, related concept and global context of the unit. You're going to formulate the SOI and you're going to recognize the criteria of this unit. Our word wall is going to include criterion, key concept, related concepts, global context, SOI, and the word generate. We're going to watch a video about how to formulate uh, a strong statement of inquiry. And then you're going to formulate uh, the statement of inquiry after you are going to be given uh, the, uh, the related concept, the key concepts, and the global context. You're going to do that through chat GPT and you're going to write your statement of inquiry on um, on a paper and then we're going to discuss the statements of inquiry that you all generated throughout the lesson. You're going to watch a video about English language and literature uh, tasks in uh, the MYP and then you are going to research uh, on how to implement an ACE criterion A, B, C, and to make a PowerPoint presentation about the criterion and its strands and search on how to get a full mark. You will have uh, further practice and after that for the challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation right for points? You will have a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search uh, to write your expectations of this unit on your notebook. For lesson two, you're going, we're going to start with our launch text, which is Rethinking the Wild. You're going to search for the new vocabulary, meaning part of speech, and use the words in sentences. You're going to read and discuss Rethinking the Wild. Our word wall is going to include rethinking, considering, impact, extinction, and survive. You're going to watch a video about Rethinking the Wild, nice story about wild nature. You will have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video about the text itself, and then you will have another interactive activity. Further practice, and for the challenging question, I would like you to write 10 words related to people and the planet and make a word network, uh, a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to summarize Rethinking the Wild text and write the summary on your notebook. Lesson three is going to be um, about summarizing. You're going to recognize how to summarize texts and you're going to summarize uh, texts um, that are going to be given to you in this uh, page. Our word wall is going to include summarized main idea, details, passages, texts, and practice. You're going to watch a video about summarizing and in groups you're going to summarize texts and uh, write it down on a paper. You will have a video about summarizing fiction and you will have an interactive activity. Further practice and for the challenging question you will have an interactive activity related to that. A self-assessment quiz and for what to do tomorrow I would like you to search for the following words. I would like you to search for their meaning, part of speech, and use them in sentences. Ethical, dissent, interject, and discord. For lesson four, uh, you're going to research or search for the concept vocabulary meaning, part of speech, and use the words in sentences. And you're going to research about DDT and its dangers. Our word wall includes DDT, pesticides, chemical, light, maladies, puzzled, striking, stillness, and deserted. You'll watch a video of, uh, about silent spring vocabulary, and you will have an interactive activity uh, related to that. You're going to watch a video about DDT, and in groups you're going to make an infographic about the effects of DDT. You need to gather pictures, statistics, and information to add to your infographic. 
I uh, attached a link to Canva to create your own infographic if you want to do it either in an artistic way, a uh, handmade, or if you want to do it uh, via, uh, via Canva, Canva. Further practice. For the challenging question, how does the use of DDT affect the environment, including its impact on various organisms and ecosystems? And how do these affect uh, uh, how do these effects differ, differ depending on where and how DDT is used? A self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to read paragraphs 1 and 2 in page 363 and answer the annotate questions in your notebook. Moving to uh, lesson 5. Lesson 5 is going to be a library lesson. It's about how to formulate a research question. You're going to define and clarify the research question in regard to the main inquiry. You're going to equip individuals with an, in the, uh, with, an effect, with an effective approach to information literacy and problem solving. The word wall is going to include formulate, question, model, research, logical information literacy, inquiry, and evaluation. You're going to watch a video about how to formulate research questions and you are going to uh, have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to have another uh, activity, uh, another video about MLA and how to cite, uh, how to cite information. And you will have another interactive activity related to that, a further practice and uh, self-assessment. For the challenging question, how would you measure or assess the outcomes related to your research question and um, I would like you at the end to mention two major characteristics of writing a literary analysis. That's all. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.